Welcome to the November edition of The Daisy Chain. And with so much unrest in the world at the moment, we decided this month to focus our blog on having difficult conversations with your children so we can help them to frame everything that's going on in the world. One of the ideas shared in that blog was the idea of giving back and how giving back to others really empowers people and helps them to feel in control of some of the things that are happening in the world. And we've got plenty of giving back happening at Turak at the moment. And Grace, you're about to tell us about a huge project going on in Year 9. Tell us a little bit about the community service that's been happening. So recently in Year 9, we have just finished our um, community service projects. Um, each Year 9 group has been like chosen their own sustainable development goal. Um, some have chosen zero hunger, so they've been cooking down in the food tech rooms um, to make food for the homeless and some have been making dog toys to donate. Some have been doing fundraisers to fundraise money for their um, goals. Like my group, we've just done a car wash to fundraise. Which I took advantage of as well, thank you very much. Tell me, what is that money that you've been fundraising for going towards? So we chose to um, fundraise for the RSPCA. And why was that goal important to you, or significant to you? Why did it resonate with your group? Well, for me and the rest of my group, we all really like the idea of giving to life on land mm. and like helping like animals and just like, you know, life on land. Um, so yeah, I thought it was really important to try and give in any way possible that we can. So by fundraising and giving money to the RSPCA, I feel like that was a really good way to like help with that goal. Yeah, I think it's an amazing initiative and I'm excited to hear more um, in the next couple of nights in our big year nine celebration where we hear more about the sustainable development goals you've all taken on. Alex, giving back comes in many different forms. You've recently graduated from Turak and one of the last things the graduating class did was write a letter to their parents saying thanks. What did your letter say? Well, in my letter I wrote a lot about thanking just my parents for driving me places <laughs> and being at different events and all the early mornings and late nights from dance and aerobics and all my GSV sports. Without them, I could not have gotten anywhere. So um, just my letter was really thanking them for all of their like hard work and dedication to my schooling and taking me to different places. And I just wanted to just like acknowledge them for everything that they've done for me. Yeah, I think it's, it was a beautiful sentiment. I know it meant a lot to the parents here. Um, but also, Alex, you've been Duke of Ed captain uh, as well in your time at Turak. Um, tell me, what do you get out of community service and giving back to those around you? Well, I really enjoy seeing all the students making their own connections and like coming out of their shells and trying things that they maybe never would have thought and also uh, their connections within different year levels and also the junior school as well with our um, baking that we did this year we got to work with junior school students as well and I really enjoyed just having that connection between the senior school and junior school. Yeah I, I love that and a beautiful segue to you Case because of course you have been a year six leader this year you've been new to the school and I know that only a couple of weeks ago you put on quite a big Halloween event for all of Wardle House. What was your role on the day? Um yep so as Miss Kendall said, um, we had a Halloween celebration that Jade and Lottie, our junior school captains, um, kind of organised in this showman. Um, so all of the year sixes had an option to bake some goods, like a treat, um, and they'd bake around 40 to 60 maybe. Um, they were all gone by the end, and I was helping sell them all, which was pretty <laughs> exciting. And as a house captain, it was one of the roles of my day. Casey, one of the other things we've been doing is helping new students to our community transition into Turak. What are some of the things you've been doing in your Year 7 Connection Days for next year? Um, so because I was new to, to Turak this year, which is super exciting, um, I was just trying to be super kind and friendly, get to know them all, um, ask questions and just make sure they're feeling comfortable with all of us Year 6s from Wardle House um, and they were all super kind which is amazing too to get to know and I really enjoyed to get to know them all because we will be spending the whole year with them next year as well. That's right, that's right and I'm just checking in on an expert here because you've got a little sister coming into Year 7 yes, next year. Is it two thumbs up? Yeah, two thumbs up. She had a great day and they were all really nice to her. So, yeah. Fantastic. That is what we like to hear here. Um, of course, all of the different ways that you can give back, they come in small forms, a smile, uh, or huge forms on working on sustainable development goals like our Year Nines have been doing. Uh, one thing we do annually here at Turak is support mums supporting families in need. So over the next month, we will be collecting goods and toys for people to support everyone on the Mornington Peninsula and their communities. 
Of course, that event culminates in our Carols in the Cloister celebration that happens on Friday the 1st of December, where maybe we get to give back to you and we get to do some singing, uh, uh, playing music and lots of celebration together. So we hope our whole community can join us for that big event as we close out our year.